Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I picked up this camera and started recording, but I am back. I'm new, I'm better than ever. My name is Christina Sullivan. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I took a little break, a couple months of a break from YouTube. Uh, I just, I'm gonna be honest with you, I needed a break to figure out what I wanted to do in terms of my life. I, um, you know, I competed in my first bikini competition. It wasn't the experience that I was hoping for. Um, I really did not enjoy show day. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it at all. I really loved the prep part of it and the grind and the work and reaching my end goal. I loved that. I loved prep but I did prep for quite some time. Um, I did a year long reverse diet where I was increasing my calories to build muscle and improve the speed of my metabolism, but I took my reverse diet more serious than I think anyone has ever taken a reverse diet. I did not go out to eat. Um, if I did, it was to like Chipotle or a restaurant that I knew was in my fitness pal. Um, if I went to a restaurant and it wasn't in my fitness pal, I would bring my own food. Um, I was It was a very strict reverse diet and it doesn't need to be that way. I did that to myself, but I was recovering from binge eating and yo-yo dieting and I needed the structure. Um, I needed the structure. Many people you know, wouldn't agree with how serious I took my reverse diet, but for me to overcome my food obsession, I needed to take away all of the, uh, the temptation that was food. So um, long story short, for those of you that are new to my channel or haven't really heard my story, I was just in my prep for almost a full two years, I would say, maybe a year and a half, a year and seven months, I don't even know, maybe a year and a half, I would say, for a full on prep where I tracked every single macro. I was not over or under one day. I hit my macros perfectly every single day. Um, and it started to create a wedge in my marriage. Um, a lot of people don't know how much of a wedge it started to create. Um, Brian, you know, it was it was hard for him, especially, I'm talking more about like, I guess my reverse diet, where it was a whole entire year, uh, where he was just living his life and I wasn't celebrating birthdays, holidays, special occasions. I would deliberately not go to his family's house for holidays because I was too anxious about there being food around and alcohol around and getting pressure to eat and drink. Um, my in-laws didn't know who I was anymore. I really, my relationship with my mother-in-law was so incredible before I started my prep and then I had to be so selfish that I wasn't the same Christina that she knew and we no longer even had a relationship. And now thank God it's back to where it was, but competing really showed me that that's not what life is about for me. Um, you know, if you are a competitor and you love that, then keep going. Um, I don't, I'm not here to change anyone's opinions or minds on competing, but I just think that there is so much more to my life and I took it very seriously. A lot of people who compete don't take it as seriously as I do or did. So they don't, um, they might not have as strong feelings as I did, but um, yeah, I was just ready. After my show, I was really ready to try to find a normal life again and to implement balance and not have such an obsession with food. Before my show, I was obsessed with food in the form of binge eating. And then after my show, I was obsessed with food in the form of tracking every macro. And I wasn't able to go out and eat because it, it provided me so much anxiety. I wasn't able to cook a meal for my husband and I because I needed to know how much fat and carbs and protein was in that meal. And it was just a really sad way to live. And I didn't want my family and my husband to be brought down to this fake life because it is fake. Um, it's just, I don't like it. So I 
have been making the switch into a more balanced diet, a balanced lifestyle, and that was why I had to take some time away from YouTube. I, I was very confused as to where I wanted to go. Every other day I had a different goal. I was very scattered, and I didn't think it was fair to you guys to one day have a, you know, filming me a day in the life of wanting to bulk and follow my macros to a T and then the next video was, oh no, we're not tracking macros. Like I was just all over the place. Every day was a new Christina. I was just, I was, I was battling a lot of demons up here from competing and being in such a strict prep for so long that I really, it wasn't fair to you. So that is why I took some time away from YouTube, but I, now I am back because I have found the balance in my life that I had been searching for and I'm still working towards it. I'm not going to tell you that I'm perfect and I'm, and I never stress about food or my body. No, of course I do. I have good days and I have bad days, just like I've always have, just like you do. Um, and so now I'm just here to show you my new lifestyle. I'm in a new house. I'm no longer in my townhouse in Del Rey. I'm in a house in Boynton Beach, a big, big, big yard for my dogs. Um, it's just, it's really nice. It's a little further away from all of the fitnessy stuff in South Florida. I was very in the center, like, I don't know. I just, I just feel more calm here in Boynton Beach. I'm just further from everything and it's just quiet and that's what I wanted. I just wanted quiet and I found it. I no longer track my macros. If you follow me on Instagram that you know all of this, I'm just, you know, I just want to kind of give a little overview for anyone that is new. Um, I'm doing really good with not tracking. I have not tracked a macro since the middle of September. I went to one of my best friend's weddings in New York at the end of September and I didn't track obviously uh, when I was there and then I came home and I just kept it going. I felt really good in my skin when I wasn't tracking in New York and I just wanted to keep it going and I haven't tracked a day or a, a, a meal in my fitness pal since and I have maintained a really lean physique that I am proud of. I'm not too lean but I'm not gaining fat either. I'm maintaining my muscle. Um, the way that my workouts have changed, I am not looking to build any more muscle. I'm just, I'm never, I never want to get on stage again. I have enough muscle for the everyday woman. <laughs> I have a ton of muscle. So right now I'm just maintaining it and having fun in the gym. I don't go to the actual gym as often as I do, I would say I go maybe one, maybe two times a week. And then my other my other ways of training is really just workout classes, spin, outdoor walks. I love F45. Just I love trying different new workout classes to challenge my body because I love to challenge my body. So I take some really intense classes to challenge me. And that's really what I've been doing. So yeah, welcome to the new Christina. So uh, this video was just going to be like a little update about me, why I left YouTube, and right now we're going to head on over to my fridge in my pantry, and I'm going to show you what's in my fridge, what's in my pantry, what are my staples, give you some meal ideas, some of my staple meal ideas. So let's head on over to my fridge. Now, excuse me if the camera is not like on me for a minute or anything. I usually film with my little handy dandy tripod, but something is stuck in the little hole where you put the tripod. So I, I, I'm, I don't know what to do anymore. So I apologize for the quality of the video. I will get that fixed, hopefully. So I'm not gonna show you everything that's in my fridge. That I'll save for maybe like a meal prep day or something because all of this Tupperware is from my meal prep this past Sunday. I do meal prep pretty differently now. I shared it um, on my Instagram story. So if you don't watch my Instagram stories, you, you need to uh, because I provide so much like on the spot, real time, live knowledge and information on my Instagram story. So this is just meal prep food. I baked a chicken. So there's some chicken, there's vegetables. Um, I roasted carrots, I roasted, uh, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and then I made little chicken nuggets. So that's in my, in the Tupperware. So I'm not gonna sh show you that. So I'm just gonna show you some of the essentials and then um, we'll go from there. So let me just flip this around. So what you see is, I mean, obviously eggs and then all of this, I have so many j different types of jellies and jams and spreads because this is what I use for my pre-workout on my rice cakes. I never like to go into a workout 
um, like super hungry but super full either and this is just provides me straight carbs a really good fast digesting carb and then I put it on a rice cake with some deli turkey but I'll get into like my meals and my little snacks in a little bit so I just want to show you I just have this is all from Trader Joe's by the way red pepper jelly for like a more savory one I have I have all the seasonal stuff. I had to grab it because they're gonna it's gonna go away. Carrot cake spread, which is just like carrot cake jam and jelly. Apple, apple cider jam. I have apple butter back there. I have pumpkin butter somewhere. Um, so that's the type of stuff that I put on my rice cakes. And then I always have deli turkey in my fridge. Always at all times. You'll never open my fridge without it. I get the low sodium. Oh, it's upside down. But it's the low sodium boar's head deli turkey. I usually get like a half a pound at a time and then I'll just go and get more when I'm out because it does get slimy if you don't eat it quick enough. So I will just do a rice cake with some jam and some deli turkey. I always have, I eat more of a low fat diet so I always have some of my favorite reduced guilt guacamole from Trader Joe's. It's only two fat, two carb for two tablespoons. So I will put this on a rice cake as well with some of my deli turkey. Um, I always have chunky salsa pico de gallo. Always I top my eggs with that all the time. I have some plain Greek yogurt back there for any time I want to make any like uh, sauce or anything like that. It's just a great vehicle for sauces. Um, laughing cow cheese, always spicy pepper jack and then smoked gouda. I'll put this on some toast or even some rice cakes every now and then. And then another thing I just really want to show you really quick is some hummus. I found this in the deli section of my grocery store. Hope Buffalo Blue Hummus. I hate. I'm baking potatoes in the oven for breakfast, which I'm gonna show you my breakfast, so. These are just some uh, Japanese sweet potatoes. I have not had them since last year and they're perfect. So I'm just gonna let those cool and then we're gonna cook breakfast together in just a little bit. But anyway, back to the hummus. This is buffalo blue hummus. I hate blue cheese, but I love this. It's not too blue cheesy at all. I don't taste it. Really great macros. I do, this is another snack. So I'll usually do like two rice cakes. I'll top one of them with hummus, one of them with guac, and then I'll top both of that with deli turkey. Great little snack for um, for the mid, like middle of the day. Mushrooms, which I'm going to take out for my breakfast. I love putting mushrooms in my eggs. I used to hate mushrooms, now I love them. Kombucha, which I haven't even opened. I should do that at some point. <laughs> Um, all right, I have these bags of broccoli. So simple, you just stab it with a fork, put it stab side down in the microwave and microwave for two and a half to three minutes. Easiest, this is the only way I cook my broccoli, it's amazing. This is some bacon for Brian. It is uncured bacon from Trader Joe's. Two slices of this is only three grams of fat, he loves it. Um, this is my favorite barbecue sauce. It is only two carbs per serving. It's incredible, no sugar. I just got it at my farmer's market, but I know this is not like a new thing. People, it's everywhere. I don't know where else to get it, but I just found it at my, at my farmer's market. I have celery because I cel I'm celery juicing right now in the morning, which is just, I'll show you that eventually, but it's on some other videos. I got some meat in here. I have, I think uh, Brian got skirt, skirt steak and I have some boneless pork loin where I'm gonna make in the crock pot some shredded tacos. And this is just all of our sauces and different condiments. Um, hot sauce. This is my favorite tomato sauce right now from Trader Joe's. It's seasonal, so I have like uh, I have like five of these. And then always I have in my fridge cashew butter. This is just salad dressing, just a bunch of different dressings and stuff. And then these are just vegetables, potatoes, peppers, onions, stuff like that. We got some wine. This is actually super good. It's a Zinfandel. So good. Um, some pumpkin, a can of pumpkin in here. Always cashew milk. And that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you in the fridge. In the freezer, I just always, so this is kind of great stuff that I wanted to show you that you should just always have in your freezer. So Trader Joe's roasted delicata squash. It's already roasted, already sliced. You just have to pop it in the oven. Such a quick way to get a low carb meal. Just pop it in the oven and it's done. So like I love to have this type of stuff in my freezer for when I don't feel like cooking. And then this I think everyone should always have in their freezer. 
just shredded hash browns. It's just simply just potatoes. I got mine at Trader Joe's, but there is another brand called Alexia that is the same thing. It's just a really quick carb source. Just straight carb, just shredded potatoes, very clean, no, no other ingredients. Um, breakfast, obviously you can make hash browns or like a dinner. I used to make like a hash bowl all the time with like either ground chicken, ground beef, different veggies, salsa, that kind of thing. I have, um, oh, the these crab cakes from Trader Joe's. They're just two of them. It's only three fat, three carb for one and um, 13 grams of protein. So like usually like on the weekends, if we're just feeling kind of like picky and snacky, we'll have one of these. So I love to keep these in my freezer. And, oh shit. Cauliflower gnocchi. This is always sold out at Trader Joe's, so I always stock up if they have it. And then I just have some seasonal stuff from Trader Joe's. Uh, butternut squash mac and cheese that if you see my Instagram stories, I kind of repurposed this in a really amazing voluminous way with spaghetti squash and broccoli and chicken. It's awesome. So I'll cook that on here at some point, but start watching my Instagram story if you don't because you're missing out on some good exclusive recipes. Um, just different butternut squash casserole, butternut squash parmigiana, just anything butternut squash or spaghetti squash I find right now I get because it's seasonal. And then pizza crust go to always. And meat, different protein sources. Always have some type of frozen protein source in my freezer, you should too. I have frozen shrimp. I love this from Trader Joe's. It is the Argentinian red shrimp, incredible. You just defrost it under some water, pan, pan sear it, done. Um, we got the crab cakes. We have frozen turkey meatballs, frozen already cooked chicken strips, and then frozen tilapia. Um, and then just bags of frozen rice that you microwave in three minutes and it's done, so easy. I have my sprouted bread right here. I've never, this is the first time I've ever had this one. It's really good, squirrely or something, I don't know. I got it at uh, Fresh Market. And then Brian and I love to have a little dessert in bed when we're watching Netflix. So I, I have these um, dairy-free, so delicious little ice cream sandwiches made with coconut milk. They are only 100 calories. If I have ice cream or a snack in bed, I limit it to 100 calories max. Really good, four fat, 14 carb, real good. And that is oh my God, pretty much all the stuff I wanted to show you in my fridge and freezer and in my pantry really quick. Um, I always have a good variety of rice cakes, apple cinnamon, I have caramel back there, and then I have white cheddar back there as well. These are um, for Brian, I don't eat bagels, they're just too carby for me, too much carbs, and they kind of bloat me, to be honest. I have corn tortillas for a gluten-free option, gluten-free oatmeal, I'm not celiac, but I just like how gluten-free products make me feel, um, versus like full gluten, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> normal products. Um, these healthy vegan bites, just for a really quick, like, sweet tooth snack. They're really good to just have on hand. Um, practice restraint. I have, I, you know, I've been practicing restraint ever since competing, and it, it takes practice, but it gets easier, I promise. Um, just different pancake mixes and stuff like that. More of this <laughs> tomato sauce. I have beans, chickpeas, black beans back there. I'm super excited about this masala simmer sauce from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna make some Thai, like chicken stir fry with this. Favorite hot sauce from Trader Joe's, yuzu. It's so good. I'm gonna make some pork shredded tacos in my crock pot tomorrow, and I'm gonna top it with that. And then red, red lentil pasta is so much better up like carbs for you. It's uh, only 32 grams of carbs for three quarters of a cup dry, which is a lot. So I'm gonna make something with this. I haven't experimented yet, but you'll see. And butternut squash soup. I have popcorn up there. Always have popcorn. Yeah, just uh, that's pretty much it. So I am gonna make, I love Japanese sweet potatoes. They're probably one of my top five favorite foods ever in ever. Um, they're delicious. And I'm gonna make a Japanese sweet potato hash this morning with some peppers and onions. I wanted to show you guys 
This is a great, I know like you might not have the time to make a hash every morning, but this is a perfect thing that you can meal prep. I just cooked one potato. This is gonna be my uh, carb for breakfast. I'm gonna eat all of this, but just cut your potatoes and roast them. I roasted them on 425 for 20 minutes and I just seasoned them with some cooking spray and then some chili lime from Trader Joe's, but I also love just taco seasoning and some salt on them and they're so good. And so you can make this in bulk. So when you watch me cook it, you can just make it in bulk or you can pre-chop your peppers and your onions. That's what I do so that I can just grab in the morning and then you can make the potatoes separate and not make everything in bulk and just make the potatoes on Sunday and then just put everything together in the morning like I'm doing right now. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be my carb at my side and then I'm gonna have just a little omelet um, with some mushrooms and I'm just gonna do um, egg whites and probably a whole egg just to get some fat in there. So I'm just gonna put the camera down and show you what's gonna, how I'm cooking. Quick tip about cooking eggs. I love my eggs a little bit overcooked, you could call it. I like to brown them and this helps with not, with keeping them from being like, like liquidy and soggy. I love having it like a little charred. So I let it just chill here and I kind of move the edges so the raw part of the egg goes underneath. That's what I was doing when I was lifting the eggs. So I'm lazy, I wanna cook two things at one time, so I'm just browning the egg whites a little bit more and then cooking my egg, and I'm gonna flip it in just a little bit. I was gonna flip my egg, but sometimes when you flip it, it kind of, the heat, kind of makes it hard to cut the egg. It has like this like harder film on it. So when you add a little splash of water, cover it, it steams the top of the egg. So you get a perfect like soft over easy egg. So I can just like slit the yolk and it will just drizzle all over my hash. And that's what I want. I want the yolk all over the place. So when you see that little like that film over the yolk, that means it is perfect. And I want it nice and runny. So I am just gonna top it over my beautiful hash. Look how good that looks. And that's gonna be my breakfast. I'm probably gonna drizzle some hot sauce over it because that's just what I do. 
but it looks so good. I'm gonna dig into that. It is almost 10.30 and I haven't eaten yet. So I'm gonna dig into this. I'm gonna work out at 12.30. It, this is a heavier breakfast, so I don't want, I wanna eat it now so I have some time to digest and like uh, this is gonna give me great fuel for my workouts. And that's gonna conclude the video. I wanted it to be quick, easy, nice little introduction to the new series. I'm going to try to commit to one video a week and uh, comment below for any suggestions that you want to see from my channel. Yes, I will cook. Yes, I'll do meal preps. Um, so just give me some new ideas. I, I, Whenever I film my life and myself, I always think like, is this boring? So like, that also makes me stop vlogging for you and uploading videos because I'm just like, oh, this is too boring, they're not gonna care. So just let me know what you wanna see. If you just like day in the life type stuff, just like kind of like reality TV type stuff, that's the kind of shit that I like. So it's funny that I assume that you guys won't wanna watch it, but I like watching stuff like that. So comment below for what you wanna see in the future from this new, uh, series that I have just about balance and living your freaking best life, but also staying healthy and active and like the video for me if you're excited that I'm back to YouTube, please. So I will see you in the next one, guys. I'm going to go dig into this breakfast. Talk to you soon. Bye.